everybody and welcome back to my channel today is monday it is 7 30 at night i've been extremely extremely busy today so <clears throat> now i'm finally getting caught up <clears throat> so this is my weekly update whipping chat to showcase what my projects throughout the week are and what i've been working on <clears throat> So I'm going to start off with my Diamond Art Club, Chuck Pinson, Reflections on a Country Living. This is how far I've gotten. I'm all, this is all complete, all the way up to right here. Um, this, has been, this was put on the back burner for a while. I was working on this before I went out to the retreat. So that's one project I have on the go. Then I have my Lizzie Falcon, Welcome to Wonderland. This is how far I've gotten. It's been a week since I worked on it. So yeah, this is a 70 by 70. So turned out really 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 nice I'm really enjoying all the, the colors so that's number two and then I have my custom oops this is a 50 by 90 and this is how far I've gotten so far. This is an arm, so it has a lot, a lot of color change, um, a lot of color changes. So this is by Evermoment. I got that one. And the one that I've been working on for the last eight days is this one. This is my Lizzie Falcon North Pole. This is a 50 by 100. And yeah, eight, day, eight days of work. And I'm pretty, I'm almost halfway. So it is also turning out very, very nice. No issues with any of the canvases. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on this week, this last week. So, I'm going to bring you down, break out the calendar, show everybody what's on the schedule for the week. So this week we have, oh, that's last week. Now this week we're going to have um, my weekly update video with my whip and chat. That's what this video is. Tomorrow I'm not going to um, do anything but probably diamond paint. Um, do some rearranging of my room to make it a little bit more roomy. Wednesday, I have an unboxing. I will do unboxings on Wednesdays. Thursday is open. So Friday is my live stream at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. Saturday, I put that off for Clayworks. And Sunday is also open. So... This is going to be my schedule. I'm going to try to stick to the schedule as much as possible. Next week is Christmas, so it might change a little bit because we do have premiere. Um, there is 47 creators, but they we all put together a one-hour premiere for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's 47 hours expanding, expanding around the globe. So that's going to be fun. 
so that's probably the only thing that's changed for next week so give me a little bit of extra time to work on some of my projects get them finished hopefully by the end of the year i hoping to have at least three of the four canvases i'm working on finished i just have a few more weeks so it's crunch time i want to get at least two to three of them finished before the end of the year because i do have a major project coming up starting in january so yeah that's my week calendar for the week So, oh, I'm going to grab the one I've been working on, sit and chit chat with everybody for a little while. Okay. So, how has everybody been doing? How's your week been going? As we all know, my week's been crazy. So we all, we had our, all 12 winners for my 12 days of Christmas giveaway, which ended sa Saturday. So congrats to all the winners. All the prizes have been mailed out today. Um, and last Monday, the first four went out, and I mailed the, the other eight today. So, they should hopefully all arrive before Christmas. That was my goal, because I was going to go ahead and choose my last four winners on next Friday's live. But I was like, hey, if I wait till next Friday, they may not arrive in time before Christmas. So I went ahead and I did a short video on Sunday and I picked the last four winners. Or was it Saturday? One of the two days. And got everything all done up and shipped out today. Everything went out today. So that was my crazy week last week. Um, and plus I had to, you know, record my premiere for my Christmas, for the Christmas premieres. Um, and plus I was doing a video every day for the last 12 days. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I hope everybody enjoyed them, enjoyed all the videos throughout the 12 days. I, um, yeah, so what is everybody working on? Has anybody had anybody has plans to travel for the for the holiday next week or are you just staying home like I am? Um I normally tr do travel back home to visit the family. But this year I'm not going to be traveling because we all know what's going on in the world nowadays I don't need to remind anybody so that's why I'm staying home this year next year may be different I know it's going to be different hopefully we can be back to somewhat normal Um, hopefully by the summertime, that would be nice. And I'm not doing the color that I wanted to do, but that's okay. I hope, I'm trying not to make a whole lot of crinkling, but I didn't section this one off this time. Um, So I'm kind of just peeling my plastic as I go. Which is starting to drive me crazy. So 
I may just go ahead and rip it off and put down some parchment paper so it's not so noisy. So, yeah. I was just wondering what everybody had plans are for the holidays. Um, your current projects, what is everybody working on? Yeah, so um, I the three days that I have open on my calendar, I've been doing some thinking. Um, I did add a new segment, which is polymer clay on Saturdays. That will be pre recorded um, I am thinking about starting back on my cross stitch again so that will be one day and I think I'm gonna leave the other two days open for makeup days in case if I don't get something done have those two days to get caught back up if needed so I don't know how long today's whipping chat is gonna be but it sure has been a hot minute since I did a whipping chat with y'all I kind of miss it so Nothing else has been really going on as every as hopefully everybody has been watching. I am out of quarantine, back to work. Um, I've been back to work. Let's see, full. I went back last Wednesday. I worked four days, and then I had my scheduled my three days off. That's my regular off time because my 14th day of quarantine was over on my on my first day of the week, which was last Tuesday. So, yeah, now I'm on. Um, keep, you know, we keep us on the same schedule. Because that's we do rotate and we do do share trucks at, at our work trucks we share so that's why we rotate every other week I have three days off and the other week I have two days off so we we it's on a it's a, a rotating schedule so when I'm off and my partner that works in the mornings he's on the same schedule as I am, when we're off, our truck is being used by drivers that were off when we work. So, it was nice to get back to work, but it, the four days did seem like it dragged on for a week. I felt like I worked for a week and a half straight and it was only four days. Yeah. When you have some time off and you get back to work, it's sometimes it's difficult to get back into the into the uh, swing of things. <clears throat> I know that um, things are here in Southern California has been slowly closing back down. Um, I know that business has slowed down quite a bit because we are not too busy at work so and next week is going to be even slower because of the holidays um, I don't work Friday because it's a holiday and So, anybody got any travel plans for next week? 
or in the new year. And I've been watching the news. Uh, the first go around of the vac vaccine is being just has uh, been distributed today and tomorrow. So that was some good news for the week. Um, I don't like crooked drills, y'all. Drives me, cr drives me instant. A little crazy. So if I see something that's crooked, I got to straighten it out. Because I do lean on, like, when I'm working over here, I may lean with my arm and elbow while on this side. So it has the tendency of moving things around. And vice versa. If I'm working on this side, I'm putting my hands and elbows and everything else on this side. Taking a sip of, sip of my soda. Um, let's finish off Mr. Birdie. Yeah, so I've been really, really enjoying this canvas. Uh, the colors are very vibrant. Like in the red area, they're here in the red area right here. This is 10 colors, you all. 10 different colors. Of red. Yeah, I got through the most of the confetti. Now it's a lot of, it is, the rest of it's a lot of color blocking. So it is moving quite quick. Almost ready to get back to my Welcome to Wonderland. That one is really enjoyable to work on also. And I need to fish, finish that Chuck Pinson, y'all. Because I got a whole lot more Chuck Pinsons to finish. And y'all, how long those take. I got an unboxing coming this week, so I may be doing an unboxing of something I've ordered from a couple months back. Start on those canvases, or I might just go ahead and do something I got on Black Friday. This past Black Friday, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I may just pick from the pile and go with it. So which one am I doing? Oh, okay. This one. Ah. One, I love these micro glue dots, but when you have a little bit of the glue that comes out of your pit, that squishes out of your pen, if you're not careful, it picks up multiple drills. Often, on, at one time, I think I had like three or four drills at the tip of my pen. Like, see, they're sticking. That's the only thing that about the glue dots. If you get a little bit of glue that squishes out. Everything wants to stick to it. But otherwise, it works really well. It lasts for you know days. And I I used my patty wax in my multiplacer. Sometimes I'll give myself a break between the micro dots and super sticky patty wax. So I do enjoy using both of them. Um, so 
Oh. Yep. Everybody's enjoying all the videos. Um, there's been a lot of creators very, very busy. Uh, I'm even having a hard time getting ca um, staying caught up on all the videos from everybody. Um, I do watch other videos besides diamond painting. I watch um, some coloring channels. Um, I watch polymer clay channels. Cross stitching channels. So, I do watch a lot of videos while I'm at work because I can just have, let them, you know, play and listen to them. I don't have to necessarily watch, watch. Um, but I do put my headphones in and I will listen. It includes them being on some lives during the week. If I'm at work, I work and work. So, really enjoying what everybody's doing. So for Tia and Crashly and my clay challenge series I guess that that's when you want to call it um, we're not sure when we're gonna start it back up again because we did take a break for a little while because uh, Miss Tia had a death in the family so she is anxious and ready to get back to work on um, clay and Back to her routine. That's going to be some fun. We've been having a lot of fun with it. It may not start back up until after the well, Christmas and New Year's holiday. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure next week is going to be busy, busy, busy for everybody. But I'm going to be here either working on a project if I'm out at work. Um, uh, Christmas Day, I will be I will not be live on Christmas Day at my regular scheduled time because we have our premieres. And I will remind and let you know let everybody know and remind remind everybody next week when I do my Monday updates. Everybody continue to post your whips on the Facebook group. I have been trying to post more on my progress. Um, I do try to post on Instagram. My Facebook and Instagram is will be linked down in the the description box as it, it always is on all my videos oh the other new segment that I I brought to the channel on Sundays whatever I get in the mail throughout the week if it's friend mail things I've ordered throughout the week Sunday I'll do a mail day what i got in the mail left for that week because we do get our mail here on saturdays so 
So instead of doing during the week, I figured Sunday would be a great day to do it because then I have everything will be received for the week. So that's been fun. I have already d posted the first video. So I know this video is out late today, but I've been really, really busy. Um, see, this morning I had to finish glazing the pins for the giveaways that I mailed out this afternoon. This is my third video today. And I still have to edit this one. And I'm also thinking about doing another one. If I don't do it today, I'll probably, I'll at least record it tomorrow for the unboxing on Wednesday and just have it ready to go scheduled for um, probably tomorrow night well schedule it for Wednesday I sure do need to get on to a schedule it really really does help and I don't feel so cha like chaos, feel so chaotic around here. So, yeah, so that's been what's going on with me. I've been trying to work on reorganizing my room here, trying to see if I can squeeze out some extra room and you know different scenery every day I, I usually change it out every year so and plus taking everything out putting everything back in I, I know where it, you know Get everything more more organized and it's just not thrown about stacked under the table in the closet you know so on so on and so on this will be the time I can get, go through everything and get rid of things that are not needed you know the saying out of sight out of mind there's things that I know I have I just can't find them don't know where I put them so this will give me an opportunity to hopefully locate these things. So, yeah, so that's what's been going on here at the homestead. No big great news or anything. Just wanted to get everybody caught up some changes to the channel um, it's not set in stone at the t at this time I um, just this is the schedule that I'm going to start with and see how it works because my days off do rotate every other week it rotates forward one day so I think if I had the same days off every week, it would be a lot different, probably a lot easier. But a lot of things I do have to juggle around my schedule. And I, and if I wait to do all my filming on my off days, my off days are gonna be nothing but filming and editing and I've already done that before 
It is very time consuming and I don't get no work done. That's, that's all I'm doing for two to three days is filming and editing. Because editing takes a long time. At least for me it does. Because I do watch the complete video over again. I add things, I take things out. Not, not necessarily take things out, but I do add quite a bit. And if I'm not satisfied, I, you know, I work on it until I'm satisfied with it. So for like instance, a one hour video may take two, two hours or more to fully transfer it edit, save it to master file, and upload it. <clears throat> oh yeah. I need to also call my internet provider and see if I can upgrade my internet speed so it doesn't take so long to upload my videos I'm thinking about taking things off the TV service because I really don't watch a whole lot of TV the only TV I really watch is the news so Since I'm paying for it, I since I'm not watching it all, so why pay for something I'm not using? You can't turn the tide. The water go where it wants to go. So I'm uh, probably gonna cut this short today. So I thank everybody for stopping in. Don't forget, let me know what you're working on. If you're traveling for the holidays. And I'll talk to everybody on Friday. Bye, guys. the wind